grab rider. He's like, I can't even. You gotta lean on a motorbike. He's so sort of worn out. Sixty cents for food delivery. This is the Vario 125cc um, Techno and um, my understanding is that it's a slightly smaller version of the normal 125 Vario in that the front of it is a little bit sort of more squished in and there's not as much foot room it seems. As I said that's my understanding because I've ridden this now, this is my rental bike at the moment and yeah it's tiny, it's really really squishy. I just went for a ride and this, I, I saw some other Varios because we don't have a normal Vario here in the homestay, um, so the Techno, this bit sticks out a lot more and it doesn't allow for the foot space that's normally in here, so there's that, but also the handlebars are much thinner, like I feel like I'm just from habit sort of going to grab them here and they're not there, so yeah the Techno is smaller. Actually, um, the Vario Techno, Honda Vario Techno, is probably better for a beginner. It handles so easily at the front, um, as long as you're not sort of normal size like me. No, <laughs> as long as, I mean, it, it would just suit you to start if you've never ridden. I, I would highly recommend it. But if you have ridden and you're looking for the ultimate scooter, then I would go for the Honda Vario 125. It's my perfect choice for riding. They handle so amazingly well. And if you were to um, even not be able to ride, you could come here and ride one of these and it would be a really, really excellent choice to start. In fact, the number one choice for sure. But, of course, you could also ride the Scoopy. The Scoopy is a great fashion choice with all of the retro styling, um, you know, it's a great looker, sort of trying to be a Vespa, and it really does suit female riders. It's um, a lot more upright, quite a bit more upright, so you can sit and chug along if that's your thing. Um, they get even better than this, like, there's a lot of different options in styling, etc. It's a 110cc, um, stylish, the Scoopy stylish, and perfect for, you know, perfect for looks, it's, <laughs> but it doesn't handle, I, fi I find this very difficult to ride, it's way too sort of grandpa-like for me, it's just, it just doesn't handle, it doesn't, you know, weave when you want it to, it's, it's as you can see, the whole setup's quite different. There's another Scoopy here, which is a which is a red one. <laughs> That's the Scoopy Licious. So they come in all sorts of versions, and you can get really amazing looking ones. This thing is a massive ADV 150, but you probably wouldn't be able to rent that exact bike. So not, not much point talking about that. Now you can get the um, the 150. I found that the 150. Uh, to me, this is what it seems like, is that it's more torquey, but it hasn't got quite the pickup. Um, actually, it would be with this hand. The pickup from from zero or from for overtaking. Although this Vario Techno also seems like it's pretty sluggish, so perhaps it just came down to the bike. But this is in great condition, this bike. It's fairly new. It's so hot, right? Yeah. This is your Lexi? Yeah. And can you tell us about the Lexi? Um, because it's a very easy. Easy to ride? Yeah, red, yeah. Uh -huh. It's like automatic. Yeah? Yeah, motorbike, automatic. Better than the Vario? Yeah, better than the Vario. Wow. It's uh, uh, very strong. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's how many CC? Uh, 155. Oh, 155? Yeah. The different for the Vario. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and do you sit more upright or still? Upright. Yeah. Yeah. Very upright position. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You. Apparently the sexy Lexi. Sexy Lexi, yes. Oh. Yes, of course. 155 cc. Yeah. Very right. powerful. More more of an upright seating position. Yes. And plus it goes much faster because it's red. Yes. Okay, bye bye. I forgot to mention that the Lexi is, is a Yamaha. Um, and they're doing a lot of bikes. They do like another sort of similar Vario variation. But again, it's got that more upright seating position, which some people would love. But I just find that I can't weave in and out of traffic and or footpaths quite as easily. Hello. How are you doing, sir? You're looking for a room? What are you doing, sir? I'm just doing what I always do. Oh, yeah. yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing what I always do also. Oh, okay. Every day. Every day. Every day. Just ride around and enjoying life. Yeah. Very good. So this is um, another option here. Um, big problem because it's not a step through as such. And so you can't put your bag there if you're traveling like I do. Um, but yeah, it's a Revo 110. Revo, but I want to say Revo. This is another good option here. But that might be for another vlog. Ah, oh, you want to buy uh, yeah. Limpetahu Goreng? Yeah, like but she, she said she's closed. Oh. But for lunch. Sorry, I... Uh, we had a place also got like this. Which one? Barong dance at the night you bounce the thing there? Yeah, it's just the one that's here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she said no more. Can we try at the temple there? Just a nice shot of the Scooby here, but um, just thinking, like, be careful uh, with your insurance if you want to go ahead and hire a bike that's 150cc or over then a lot of insurance companies will not cover you and it's very hard to find that in the small print, but it's very much the case very often the case there's a lot of like really super duper big bikes with big fat wheels etc on the back some really interesting things that you can ride around on if you choose to a lot of them are in the Semenyak Changu area if you want to hire those but um, yeah I mean I reckon keep it simple and just stick to the Honda Vario 125 you could go down the road of a trail bike I saw a guy um, riding one yesterday, it looked ridiculous, it looked so weird um, with all of the scooters everywhere around but they're pretty rare, they're not that easy to find these days so maybe you know the, the shops might have one in their, in their um, arsenal but generally you're going to be riding a scooter and really this is about scooters, this vlog um, so yeah, I mean you can't go past the Vario 125 